Here's what I don't get about this under. All these fancy decorations everywhere. It's downright embarrassing. And he still lives? Kill the Sun King, and Anora saves his life. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's. There are no shadows under the noonday sun. Words to live by. Aloy, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes, send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the city guard fortify the western ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can.
quietly does it, panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. It's our Sun King safe. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. A moment of your time, Outlander? That safe. armor, who's it? Of course. Uh, isn't that alive and well and I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. 
I'll leave that to the other Nora at the spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy? When you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. These damn Asaram stirring up tensions. I'm keeping my eyes open. Praise the sun. The spies have released Prince Ethan and his son. Huntress, you called, so here I am. Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Ah, so I am. We've only met a few times, and yet you know me so well. I don't think I know you at all. But I'd like to. Hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit and Sunfall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. I said I came for you, but that was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. Tomorrow, may the sun rise in a better world. Why'd he try to kill the Sun King? <laughs> what reason do Asura... Hey, Loy. Um, at ease, Uthid. Meridian will be glad to have you on its side. And I am too. The honor is mine. You saved my epitaph from being a fine soldier, but a fool of a man. I'm hoping you won't need any kind of epitaph just yet. As the sun wills. When you found me, I was trying to eke out a glorious death. But now, a glorious life seems more preferable. To watch Edelman play in the Low Gardens again. Still surrounded by a dozen guards, but... What you did, Aloy... It was done well. Although, I can't shake this road. Vinasha. She delights in goading me. Like brazen colors waved before a behemoth. Do you want me to ask her to stop? No. I accept it. Well then. Meridian shall stand and shadow shall fall. I swear it. Here's to that, Uthid. The Sun King's grown too soft. Too much Asaram influenced the power. I think you let go all this. It's always the ones you least expect that cause you trouble. Elita, I'm, I'm pleased to see you, but what are you doing here? I'm helping prepare for the battle. If a troll were here, we would have fought together. I know it. So I'm doing everything I can. Digging battlements, collecting herbs, anything that makes a difference. I can't take his place. Nothing can take his place. But I'm here for him, for both of us. I understand what it was he saw in you. He'll always be with me. Sun and shadow still meet for a moment, every dawn and dusk. I should give you this, to help in the battle. By the sun, I hope you don't need it. Thank you, Alita. Be safe. Now that Prince Edamon has returned to Meridian, is the war well and truly over? Oh, my poor 
your feet. Petra! Here she is, the guest of honor. I knew there was something about you, hammered from the stuff they make leaders out of. And I don't say that to every Nora girl who blows through my town. That happens to you a lot? <laughs> Had to build a wall to fend them off. <laughs> Good thing I'm persistent then. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Ostrom, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges. So I've taken greater pride in improving them. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it then. The target should put up a little less of a fight than those bandit raiders did. No need to aim it like a bow. Range is good. Try the next. That'll knock a machine on its ass, ancient or no. With these, I think we could hold off an army. You know that I appreciate your help, Petra. This battle, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see each other again, I know it. Next time could be the time I'll convince you to stick with the free heat. Petra, you know I... I do, I do. Always had a weakness for restless girls, though. do you think you'll kill in the battle, Luthid? As many as I have to. I love it when you say things like that. It's so... What? Cheerful. Nakoa, you came to fight. How could I not? During the Red Raids, there was only one Karja Butcher the Nora feared more than Zaid. Helis. I would stand against any army he leads, no matter how strong. For the Nora he terrorized, for myself, and for my father. We'll stop him. You have my word. Your word means a lot. Especially now. Because of you, I hear the sacred land is opened. If we win, I can go home. It'll be good to see Jan again. I'm with you, Aloy. Until the end. Geneva. They called you back to duty. So, you're the one behind all this commotion? Who made Sun King Avad finally show his sword arm from behind those robes? A king can be fierce and fair, Geneva. He's a good man. A smart man, too. He had Murad offer all my prisoners a royal pardon if they'd fight for Meridian. The whole motley lot of them agreed. Didn't take much convincing. With your kind of convincing? I don't doubt it. Ha! This time I went easy on them. Those who commit the crime of attacking Meridian, they'll see less of my lenient side. May the sun blaze at your back, Aloy.
Have you come to defend my honor, Hinnatut? I know you don't need any help with that, but from all I've heard, you found yourself a good fight here. So I'll stand this ground with you. You won't have ever seen a fight like this. And we only get one shot at it. I've been told I'm in over my head before, Nora girl. You know what I say. I'm always in over my head. Aratok? I didn't expect you to come all this way. It's true, I am a stranger in this green and snowless land. Aurea forgave the Karja, but I never did. Still, I was compelled to come for my once chieftain. It's good to see you leading again. This one of Nowarak, he may have taken too many blows to the head, but he's a good fighter and strong. This young ice hunter seeks to prove herself also. Her spark reminds me of Aurea's in our youth, and I'm proud to take my place behind you on this hunt. A great challenge. Survive and prevail, right? There is no other way. You're the hunter from the Banuk Grove. I remember you also, Nora. The machines shook free of their slumber after you arrived. Raged and fought. Uh, well, that, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm thanking you. That night I decided I would not go back to Banur. I would take my hunt into these lands. So many machines, even demons. Spidery, skittering, without the blue light in them. Dead things that must be killed again. Our enemies dug up an army of them. An army? Yes, that's why I came. Good. I'll wait. Talana, why are you here? I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the Lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. My only request... Name it. Leave the biggest machine for me. <laughs> no promises. themselves the eclipse what does that even mean it's when the moon gets in front of the sun idiot is that supposed to sound scary or something i don't know they used to be karja karja are always yammering about sun and shade well if they used to be karja how tough can they be yeah they're best guys just like birds we'll rip their little feathers off and let's not get cocky boys Aloy, <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. That's... big. 
It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! line. And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The Anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called Anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil because the Goddess says, or because you say. I think the Goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. It rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. But there are so many. And now we are so few. They are not our foe. Not this time. Quiet now. She comes. The Anointed. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you, you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all, but my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word.
smell of rain. There is heavy with it. We're giving up. Breathe again. I don't think that lord's napping.
Haven't you got anything better to do? Looks like I'm clear. Going up. That's one way to run. There's people in those cages. See them, they can't see you.
They're leaving. I don't know what to say. I... you're... you're anointed. Not a real hunter until you've bagged a herd of striders solo. So, you're the girl who has all the tongues wagging. Except bandit tongues. Those you've stilled forever. I'm relieved to see you don't take trophies, by the way. I never cared for that kind of behavior. I can handle bandits, if that's what you mean. Yes, you've beaten me to my quarry at every turn. And I haven't even been able to watch. I'm not sure I like where this is going, Outlander. Call me Nil. I'm curious to see how you fight. But the moment has passed here. There is a place I know, south of Meridian, with a view of the spear shafts. Meet me there.
I'm so glad you came. In a way, I feel like I already know you. Every pile of corpses was like reading your journal. You don't know me. I've done more than kill bandits. I don't doubt it. But bandits were my quarry, and their camps my hunting grounds. Now they're bare. So, I had to know if you were just faster than me, or more skilled too. And what better way to find out than if we try to kill each other? What do you say? You brought me out here to fight a duel we've barely met. I know what you're capable of. You've been sizing me up since you arrived. Can't you feel it too? The delicious uncertainty of two evenly matched combatants. No. I heard you out, but I've got no reason to fight you. The reason's in the fight. Think of what great sport we'll make. Killing's sport for you? Only the good kills. I'm leaving. Since you asked me for the duel, tell me this. Are you gonna try and jump me as I go? Where would be the fun in that? Hey, they told me your name. I said hair like a splash of blood, tenacious as a scrapper's jaws. I've thought about what you said. Every time, the wound you gave me caught on my ribs. But I didn't wound you. Not by now. Still, I forgive. A duel is such a fleeting joy. If one of us had ended the other, we'd have missed all this. The weight before blood is shed. Like the scrape of a blade across your teeth. Nil, you're making it difficult to be glad to see you. But you're needed. The battle will be hard. Hard? I was assured the odds would be near impossible. And you signed up anyway? Impossible odds, fine company, killing without consequence. How could I resist? That's a nice spear, Uthid. Thank you. I like the way you grip it. Enough, woman. Mother says I should keep quiet. <laughs> 